What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to Skies of Arcadia Legends for the GameCube. In the last episode, we made our way down here to Deep Sky. This is where Fina's ship crash landed um, way, way back in episode one. Uh, surprisingly enough, considering, you know, the, we have an entire planet to discover. It's actually within one of these little squares right around here. And I was just having fun with my radar and then flying around and randomly fighting the Rajas and things along that way. So that's why it looks a little weird. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just fly down. Down. One more. Okay, perfect. Boom. I'm just going to do this little radar thing right here. Okay, perfect. I wanted to do that because we ended up getting two out of the three items that were down here in Deep Sky. Uh, if you kind of just follow my cursor over yonder, you can actually fly a little bit off the beaten trail if you want, but don't go too far up because then the game will register as you're leaving Deep Sky, and then you have to come all the way back down and, you know, all your X's that you fought Rajas will be gone, and then I think these still will stay here because this is where one piece of Valorium was, and then over yonder was another piece of Valorium. I think those stay, but your Raja fight points go away, but, you know, whatever. I just wanted to have fun fighting them and just build up uh, the needed ship battles for those secrets. Now then, we need to find Fina's ship. And it's actually right here in this spot. Make sure you are done with everything. Mind you, you can come back to Deep Sky later on if you want, but... I would say get everything now. You got both pieces of Lorium, awesome. You fought all the Stingray weird, weird things, great. Once you go to grab this, you get a cutscene. And that scene, my friends, looks like this. Let's get it. Crane grabbed onto something, and it's not one of those weird fish things. Pull it up! What is it? What is it? What is it? Up! Oh, look at that! Wow, that landed like perfectly upright! And in very good condition too! We got the ship! Yay! We did it! It's Fina's ship! Great job! Aika, hurry and get it on board. Aye, aye. Fina, you're finally able to get home with this. Yes, thank you very much. Hmm. This means I'll have to leave you. Oh, Fina, I... <laughs> he just had a Homer Simpson don't moment. Ah! What was that? There's an explosion off the port bow! Vice! Something's coming! Oh, great! Well, you knew we'd end up facing him sooner or later. <laughs> I found you, Vice! I still haven't forgotten what you did to my ship, the Chameleon, Onyx Ataka! This underworld will be your grave! I shall have my revenge! REVENGE! That was the ship that the Loka was building at Dangrel. Ika, did you secure Fina's ship? Yes, it's on board already! Alright, all hands to battle station! Here's our chance to finally rid the world of that psycho. Visibility is poor, so it'll be hard to hit him when he's far away. Try and attack from close range. Which is easier said than done, because I have no control over the ship, Vice. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, he, he modified it a bit. A few new toys on there. A few more guns. Oh boy. Whatever that extra thing is. Vice, Vice, Vice! The day for you to die is finally here! I'll destroy you, and your ship, and your crew, and your little dog, too, and I'll kill you! <laughs> Nobody messes with POW. Alright, so here we are, the chameleon. Let's see, what are we going to do first? Um, I'm just going to go ahead with my normal startup uh, routine. I'm going to do Arala. You're going to go ahead and Apple Wax. Uh, what is Fina going to do? I feel like I should hit him with something. 
Ah, uh, he doesn't really take that much damage to any type of particular uh, magic. Yeah, you know what? We'll save it. Um, da -da -da -da, can't do yeah, Phil, whatever. What's her strongest? Crystallis? Sure. Um, Enrique. The speed wax kind of suck because it really only improves the engines for one turn. I wish it was more than one. Um, da -da -da -da. how much is the quickest? Six? Yeah, whatever. All right. We'll just use the speed wax and call it a day. All right. Battle 3 with the Chameleon! This time it has 30,000 HP, we'll give you 15,950 experience at the end of battle, 7,000 gold, get a Captain Stripe Twin Turbo Engine, and a Magic Shell. I won't use the Magic Shell, I'm pretty sure I have a Twin Turbo that I'm not using anyway. This battle will pretty much go back and forth for a little bit at around the halfway point of uh, the Chameleon's life. We'll go into the second phase. It all cons is considered one battle, so there is no extra health or extra like uh, increased stats or whatever to the chameleon once you get it to the next uh, stage. Unfortunately, for being down here in the dark, though, we have no control over aiming, and the moonstone cannon is pretty much useless at this point. You're gonna have to kind of guess where your ship is going to be in comparison to the chameleon, because as you can see right here. We're not even facing each other. We are so far away. Uh, it's going to be, uh, I think, on the next pass that we'll get back and facing each other, and that's when the guns will be able to hit. It's a guess. You have to guess at it. Vice, the visibility is too poor. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on outside. If the enemy ship is too far away, it'll be impossible to see it through the clouds. What clouds? We'll never be able to lock on with our cannons. Our only chance is to wait until the loco comes close to us. Watch his maneuvering patterns closely. Yeah, so it's like if you actually watch the ship, you can kind of get an idea where he's going to be on the next turn, and you can plan around that. Pretty sure it's right here. I think that's the big one. So we'll do this, this. Um, again, he really doesn't take much damage to, uh, to elements, but I think maybe what I'll do... Will quicken give me more? Okay, will effects do it. You know what? Sure, let's do that. Go ahead. Uh, Enrique. I don't think any of this stuff will really matter. Silence, quick. Uh, let's see if we can actually weaken him. I'm kind of curious if this will work. It doesn't require any MP, so uh, sure. And I think, and I think it will do a little bit of damage. So here he comes at us. And he's gonna swing over to the side. <laughs> 60 damage to us. Good job, buddy. Way to hit those upgrades. And I think he's just barely to our side. Oh, wow. <laughs> you gotta hit for us. Yeah, okay, we'll be able to hit him just like this. Wow! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Almost took him out in one shot. Um, okay. No, no, no! How could the chameleon be defeated three times? Not one time, not two times, but three times! <laughs> this chameleon is defeated, it's just a dream, just an illusion! I refuse to believe it! Ah! <laughs> Admiral, get a hold of yourself! <laughs> Admiral, are you all right? <laughs> this time, dear little Vice, I've prepared something special for you. It's not over yet, Vice. I still have one last trick up my sleeve. Fire the Deloco Harpoon Cannon. The what? Ah! What was that? <laughs> I shall defeat you with a harpoon cannon, just like you defeated me! I'll get you this time, Vice! I'll get you! I'll get you! Oh, here we go! Part 2! I wonder if he does reheal himself. Let's actually find out, shall we? Oh man, this guy's on a fish hook. You won't get away from me this time, Vice! Now, now, now I will kill you for sure! <laughs> Um, okay, so he did reheal himself. Okay, so pretty much he's back at all the stats that I said in the last round. 30,000 health, yada, 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 etc, etc, etc. 
But again, just like last time, you're gonna wanna watch his pattern. So we'll go ahead, we'll do this, we'll do this. Fina, let's just go ahead and, um, yeah, you know, whatever. Let's just put, um, huh, I don't know. I'm <laughs> sure, okay, let's, I have four deluxe kits. I only heal her at that, yeah, okay, fine, do that. And then Enrique, um, sure, let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, he healed himself, but all of his stats are pretty much the same. And as you can see, we're now going to be kind of like bobbing up and down and around each other. We are connected. It's a little bit more, oddly enough, it's a little bit more difficult to hit him in this situation. But if we just pay attention, at least the best we can. See, now we're ahead of him. So we're ahead of him on an early point. So I think we have to wait until near the end of the round for him to get ahead of us for our cannons to efficiently hit him. So, yeah, we should start swinging back. Yep, see how we're swinging back now on, like, the third turn-ish or so? And then on the fourth turn... Let's see what he does. Oh, ooh, 220! Oh, boy, DeLoco, you're scaring me now! Yep, full SP. Well, he's will be for the next round. Now, I look a little bit too far ahead there for that final round. Yep. Looks like third round. Third round is probably the key. Ugh, jerk. Put a little dent in it, I don't like that. Okay, so third round looks like to be the key. So let's go ahead and we'll X cannon here. We'll go and arc oil torpedo here. We'll go ahead, actually, you know what? Let's do the arc oil torpedo here and then we'll take three inch cannon, spread that straight through the end, and Enrique take the five inch cannon and push that across. So this way, at least at some point, there's always some type of cannon firing, and we're doing some type of damage to him. Uh, but this is pretty much the second phase to the DeLoco fight. He has us on a hook, using pretty much the same harpoon cannon style ability, and uh, we're going to be just exchanging blows back and forth. A little bit more, you know, hand -hand, or gun to gun, I guess you can say, uh, style. Kind of like a Vigoro fight. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you hitting me with? Oh, really? You're going to drill nose? Oh, man. But we should be getting into a better position in order to hit him with our guns. Oh, come on! Really? Just that little bit? Uh, if he didn't drill nose us, it'd probably be the end of the fight right there. Ooh, that actually did a little bit of damage. Huh, interesting. Alright, so hopefully Enrique will finish him off. Please? Ugh. Uh, uh. uh. Sorry, I just <laughs> just got a sigh at that one particular point. That means I got to do another round of this. All right, bring it on, DeLoco. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 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 I can't see. Let's actually do the X cannon here. We'll do, um, no, we'll do the X cannon in the third spot again, just because. We'll do uh, the arc whale torpedo here. Take the five inch. Oh, I think three inch. Just swing it across. And we don't have any more left, so just go I'm bound to hit him at least one of these times. Okay, I was about to be like, really? He didn't kill him? But no, he's good. But we're kind of still attached! What are we going to do about us being still attached? We need to kind of uh, break free from that. Ooh, nice level up. Very good. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Good, good, good. And all kinds of goodies. Or we're not attached? That doesn't look like we're attached. How are we not attached anymore? Hot! 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 Somebody help me! Tell me this is just a bad dream! Looks like that's the end of Bubblehead. Yeah, that was a tough fight. If we took too much damage, we would be stuck down here. Well, we retrieved Fina's ship. Let's go back up. This place gives me the creeps. So, I kind of just want to point out something really quickly here. Something that, when you're thinking about it, you're just like, Huh, really? Um, we beat the Loco. He crash landed into like the sides over here, and he's pretty much dead. We killed the Loco out of all of the admirals in uh, the uh, Valuan Armada. 
We killed the Loco. He's gone. He's he, we will not see him for the rest of the game. His ship has gone kaboom, and that's pretty much it. He's lost somewhere down here in deep sky. I mean, there's like a little weird discoloration right there. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's not. Maybe I'm just reading into stuff, which is very very possible because there may be other discoloration. Yeah, whatever. Um, I have my own theories about the Loco, but that kind of flows into my thoughts on Skies of Arcadia 2, which of course is all fan fiction at this point. Sega, make Skies of Arcadia 2. Call or email me, metalblade427, gmail.com, please. Um, but yeah, for the rest of this game, no more the Loco. Uh, we've pretty much come with everything we need to get, so let's rise on up. And I think all you need to do is rise up, and then we should get out of here. Yep, there we go. And then we're up in this vortex thing again with, you know, foreshadowing still in front of us. Let's rise as I spin around and take a look at whatever all that is. Up, 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 up. And then that's pretty much that. I'm, I don't think anybody else even talks about anything. Yes, no, no, up, up, up. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. And that's it. That's it. That's that's it for the vortex. Again, if you want to go back down and do any type of exploration or anything along that ways, by all means, do so. Uh, we will deal with Dangrel Island again in a little bit. But for the remainder of this episode, we are going to make our way back to Sailor's Island. Now, remember, Enrique said that he wanted to be dropped off there once we were done um, with this last uh, mission. And for all case in point, we are finished with it. I'm going to head back there because there's actually a little bit of a scene that takes place and kind of a, a surprise encounter, if you would, uh, once we get a little bit closer. And that will happen regardless where you are. Like, I'm going to be above the clouds, and once I get close to Sailor's Island, it'll just trigger. So let's go ahead and do that. Got Venus ship, got the Valorium. Now we got to take Enrique back because it's just what he wants to do. And there's fish up here, so let's go ahead and grab them. Sea fish. Okay, whatever. And now we're here. And look who it is. The Blackbeard 2. Baltor's ship. He is upgraded. I don't know how he manages to see us in upper sky and everything like that, but hey, whatever. Captain Baltor, this is a really, really powerful looking ship coming our way off port side. It's it's the airship that everyone's talking about, the Delphinus. The one that the Blue Rogue Vice commands. I don't remember his voice, so I'm just going to do whatever comes to mind. <laughs> I guess he's above the clouds, too? Ah. So, Vice, we meet again. This time, I have a little something special for you. All right, men. On the pride of the Black Pirates. Kill them all! Yeah, I guess he is above the clouds, and he's coming right for us! Vice! Black Pirates, get ahead! Wait. Hey! Isn't that Baltor ship? <sighs> Looks like they've done a little work on their own ship as well. Let's go test out their new defenses for them. And it throws you right into a ship battle. The second uh, with Baltor. And the second time the game is just like, hey, why don't you fight him? And you're just like, okay, sure. <laughs> How do you like the power of the new and improved Blackbeard? This ship is equipped with nothing but the best stuff that stolen money can buy. It's the ultimate black pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm really intimidated, Baltimore. Sure. Um, yes, so much better being able to see where stuff is now. Let's go ahead and do my normal startups with everything. We'll do that. We'll do the apple wax. We'll do, um, I just kind of want to hit him with something because, again, uh, he doesn't really take too much damage to magic, so I'm just going to do it because... And, uh, we'll speed wax. Yeah. So, the Blackbeard 2. Yes, great original name. Uh, 15,000 HP, so he's gonna go down pretty quickly. 5,520 experience at the end of battle of 2,400 gold. We'll give you a timing valve. Spherical figure, which I think I could just sell. And hybrid wax. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but it's probably a random item for, uh, the ship. He's a joke. It's Blackbeard. You beat him once before, you'll be able to beat him again. No, he's gonna hit me. He's gonna miss me. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, he doesn't really take too much damage for any of the elements, so let's see how much this does if we hit him. 
Alright, that's pretty good. Um, otherwise that, the differences in the ships are really just like, one ship is a little bit more smooth and brightly colored, this second ship has a few more spikes on it and is darker colored to I guess look more menacing or something like that. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, what, did we finish up this round? Am I good now? Oh, he's gonna try to hit me one more time. Oh, yeah, the Vega, Las Vegas cannons missed. Yeah, bad, bad spin, buddy. All right, go. <laughs> Look at Moonstone crit, Moonstone crit. Uh, it's awesome. We're still gonna kill him this round, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and um, we'll arc whale torpedo there, just because I can. We'll complete kit, and I have more than enough uh, for the Moonstone cannon. This one goes further. Okay, good. That's even if I, I'm able to do the Moonstone Cannon. I feel like that the Torpedo and the main cannons in that critical round will be more than enough to take them down. Las Vegas Cannons! Yeah! Woo! So now I'm going to completely heal myself. And, uh, yeah. Altor is a lot of fun. I wish I could fight him over and over again. But you have these two encounters with him throughout the course of the game. And you just kind of show you your superiority as the better air pirate every single time. All right. Oh, he's gonna hit me once. Ugh. Vice, take aim and fire. <laughs> the game freaked. It. You probably didn't see it, but I saw it here. There was like a brief like pause in the game where it was just like, ah, crap, we lost. All right, some gold, some experience. No one leveled up, but that's okay. And look at all the stuff that we pilfered from Baltor. Probably all stolen to begin with. Curse you, Vice! How could you defeat me again? The next time we meet, I will defeat you. You will rue the day that you cross, Baltor. <laughs> Good job, Vice. Seriously, <sighs> that fool doesn't know when to give up. At least he's not a quitter. <laughs> not only do you have the Armada chasing you, Vice, the Black Black Pirates are after you as well. You're quite popular. <laughs> uh, this isn't the kind of popularity that I need. Well, I'm glad that my last battle on the Delphinus was a victorious one. Enrique. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Sailor's Island should be coming up soon, Vice. Let's go! Alright, kind of made my own sentence there. Uh, because I realized the period was in a different spot. But whatever, that's how I feel like he's going to talk anyway. I'm backing up away from Sailor's Island right now because as soon as I hit Sailor's Island, the cutscene begins. And there's actually, like, a series of cutscenes that happen. Like, right here is probably the last time I'm able to save for quite a while. So I'm going to do that, and I'm actually going to cut the episode right here. Yeah, it's kind of early, but again, once the cutscene starts happening here, you know, we say goodbye to Enrique, which is very sad, and then we automatically head back to Crescent Island, uh, where we prep for Fina to go to her home in the Great Silver Shrine, and then crazy crap happens. Um, I'm probably going to explain this in the beginning of the next episode as well, but just to let you know, the next episode and the one after it probably the next episode probably won't have an ending like of me saying goodbye to you guys and then the episode after that will probably not have an opening because i'm going to be cutting it midway through again the scenes just happen they move forward regardless of anything so it's gonna be long and rather than having one super long episode i'd rather just cut it into two smaller ones and kind of throw a cliffhanger in there because i'm kind of a jerk so sorry in advance Anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427. In the next episode, we sadly say goodbye to Enrique, and we sadly head back to Crescent Island for possibly one of our last trips there with Fina. We do have her ship. She just needs to bring the crystals back up to the shrine, and her mission is complete. Hopefully, they'll let her stay with us, but... I guess there's only one way to find out, and that would be in the next one. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later.